right, thank you for coming. Welcome to the NCA Volleyball Regional, hosted by the University of San Diego. Up here we have the USC Trojans. Coach Mick Haley, Samantha Bricio, a senior, and Alicia Ogums, a senior, open up the floor to questions. No question that that's true. Um, used to be that uh, you felt like the kids in the West Coast would play a little bit more volleyball because they get to play in the summers and outdoors. If you look at the number of matches, the number of practices, kids in the Midwest and on the East Coast and the Southwest are, are playing now, they're all uh, playing about the same number. And uh, it's amazing. That's why uh, the recruiting shifts from each side of the, the country from year to year, you know, Texas has over 38,000 high school kids playing. California has 37,000 now. Texas has actually taken the lead in that, but states like uh, Minnesota and Illinois and Ohio are very strong uh, recruiting areas. And then those places in between, like in between Denver coming through the Midwest, uh, Nebraska and, and Iowa, believe it or not, is a very strong state to get talent out of. Uh, and I can't think Kansas and, uh, and Nebraska recruit very strongly out of Iowa. So yeah, you, you, uh, you don't have an advantage being on one side of the country or the other. Uh, now there's talent everywhere. So you guys have played Crazy earlier this season. Uh, what do you think Wigglesland match is preparing for the tournament? I'm sorry, would you repeat that? Yeah, playing Crazy earlier this season. Yes, yes. Uh, well, not very much, really. Uh, Creighton's a different team uh, than what we played earlier. Uh, and we're probably uh, a bit different also. Um, Creighton uh, didn't have their starting setter, and that makes all the difference in the world when we played them. Um, the, it, I mean, it's just difference in the rhythm of their offense, uh, how they uh, conduct their system, uh, the way they play defense. Uh, they flipped people. They moved people into different positions. Uh, they don't do anything over and over and over. It's a, a little bit of a, like six different teams. Each rotation is a, like a different team now. So um, we we can't draw hardly anything from our match with with Creighton the first time. means you have to do more of these things. It uh, <laughs> kind of gets in the way of what you're trying to do, really. But uh, it's always nice to be uh, the number one seed. On the other hand, it puts a lot of pressure on the kids. And uh, we just wanted to be one of the top four seeds. You know, our goal was to, to try to win the conference so that we could get one of the top four seeds. And we really wanted to stay in this time zone. So uh, because we have so many finals going on, I think we took 12 or 13 finals this morning. We'll take uh, more tomorrow. We'll take some on Sunday, Monday, uh, and Tuesday. So we're really bogged down with finals. And uh, uh, just getting on the bus after the finals this morning, I think everybody slept uh, a good amount of the way and uh, just trying to get, uh, get caught up again so we can focus for tomorrow. I mean, we're basically not playing close to home. I'm from Mexico and Alicia's from Canada, but it's always <laughs> nice, you know, to play uh, close to LA. Um, a lot of the other girls' parents are coming. Uh, I know a couple of um, volleyball guys from our team are coming. I know friends are coming, so it's always nice to have fans. Yeah, I, I agree with Sam. Um, we, there's a big like, population of uh, USC alums that also live in San Diego, so we're hoping that a lot of them will come out as well. Um, but just like what uh, Coach said, that we've been basically playing all year to like get sent here so that we could play in this facility and play in this game. So it was just kind of like um, what we wanted, I guess. Samantha, USC, uh, the expectation is always very high because of what USC has accomplished. Uh, does that make the journey along the way toward the tournament, does it make it easier to enjoy the journey or harder to um, I don't, 
I think it's, I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. Like, I mean, it's always nice, you know, to uh, play in a team that has such a history. And it, I think it's something good because it makes you want to work harder than normal. So yeah, I think it's good. Oh, me too. Yeah, <laughs> um, I th yeah I, I agree with Sam. It's kind of like, just because of the program is so history and has so much like extra stuff with it, I guess it's kind of we want to add our own like, you know, part of the story, I guess, to the program, definitely. Did he feel any pressure being the number one overall? Um, I mean, personally, not really, but, like, I think we're just going to try to, like, go out there and just try our best and try to execute the game plan. But, I, um, I mean, like, yeah, there's, like, a lot of extra pressure, I guess, on us. Like, we're doing this kind of stuff. never done this before. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're just going to try to take it one game at a time, I think. They, they really haven't uh, put a lot of pressure on themselves. Uh, this team's a lot different than other teams. They, they have so much fun together that uh, they look forward to practice, talking to each other. They look forward to the trips, so uh, they hang out. Uh, they do a lot of things. This, this is a great team to coach. I think it's probably a great team to be part of. Um, you know, we started the season not knowing what to expect. Uh, we uh, we had some changes. We did some new and different things, and so we weren't quite sure. Um, but uh, the way it's come together has been uh, really, really kind of fun. And uh, I wouldn't say there's been been a lot of pressure uh, watching from the outside. You would know better than than I, but. Uh, and the, the trip has been kind of interesting because uh, every time we won, we were kind of surprised, right? <laughs> I know after the first two matches, uh, we played uh, BYU and uh, North yeah, North Carolina. And we won both of them. Sam sent out a text, a text message that says, thank you, each and every one of my teammates, for making me love the game again. So, you know. I, th I thought that was pretty genuine, and uh, uh, that just kind of sums up uh, how this team has been uh, progressing through the year. And the other thing is we've tried to get better every week. We haven't worried so much about the wins and losses. Uh, it's about getting better and improving and bringing our freshmen along. These two have had to lead uh, three freshmen that start for us and have done a wonderful job. Uh, they've been instrumental in, in making it an, a really low-level pressure situation for those freshmen, um, especially because they're laughing and enjoying, enjoying the experience all the time. When you're putting a team together and deciding to offer, do you keep that in mind, go, go, Yeah, absolutely, and, and maybe more than you would expect. Um, Teams like this trying to pursue excellence at two levels at the same time, where you're trying to get an A in each class and you're trying to win a national championship every year. And I think for the four years you two have been there, our goal has been to win, get, get to the final four and win the championship every year. And, and our expectation is for that. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's important who we bring into the team. Uh, it only takes one person to be disruptive or to to make it not fun with a lot of drama and, and uh, they can't live within the team rules or they, they're pouting because they don't get to play or whatever it is. You, you really, we really look to try to eliminate those kinds of personalities. And about three or four years ago, we made a conscious effort to change our recruiting towards people that love to be in the gym. You know, it's really fun when you can come to practice and everybody's looking forward to getting in the gym and, and doing something that they enjoy. So that's, that's where we moved, and uh, we were, we're pretty fortunate. We're, we're pretty close to 100% on this, so. And when you Pardon sent me. that text thanking your teammates for making you enjoy volleyball games, what was going on that you weren't enjoying it as much? You know, we had a rough season last season, and it was just, you know, the, the energy in the team was different. It, it felt like everybody just like wanted to stop playing and just like go home, you know. 
And this year, the first two um, games that we play, I mean, besides the fact that, that we won, it's just the energy in the court was different. Everybody was enjoying. Uh, Bailey has like such a like strong personality. She just like, she, you can see that she enjoys the game. So when I see that, I, I don't know, it just makes me smile. And I, I just felt completely different those first two games. It was just, I don't know, it was just something completely different. The, the growth is, is what's fun for, in my job, seeing, seeing the kids improve and grow through the four years. Samantha and Alicia, I mean, uh, Alicia will grab this microphone and talk to you now, but she wouldn't even talk to me for two years when she came. I mean, she didn't talk. I couldn't believe it. Now it's just motor mouth all the time. I mean, just all, all the time. She, to see these kids grow up is really fun, and to see Samantha uh, take charge of the team and Alicia to jump right in there with her and, and literally lead the team has been a pretty phenomenal experience for the entire coaching staff. Um, you know, Sam didn't think she could pass when she first came, right? Yeah, maybe a little, right? Yeah. But not well. Not really. Yeah. Now she's our primary passer. She's, she's really good. She can play internationally. They can serve her all they want, and she'll she'll hold up under fire, uh, and, and she'll be great. Her mother told me the one thing I had to do before she got out of here is teach her to block, and I'm really working at that one still, still. to make that a to make that a good thing. Uh, uh, Alicia's parents uh, and I were talking a couple of weeks ago, and I said. Uh, uh, I think Alicia's playing so well because she's injured and can't practice all the time. She likes that a lot better. And uh, I mean, her blocks per set are almost at two. Uh, that's that's worthy of first team All American. Uh, Samantha scores every way you can score the ball. She scores it for us, and and she gets us between five and a half and seven points per set almost every night. And so uh, there's not another athlete that I've seen in the country that's doing that and doing it every single set. So, and everybody's tried to stop both of these two uh, in every way they can so far this year. So, so we're pleased they're on our team. Uh, we're pleased with the growth, and, and there has been a lot of growth, and it's been fun to watch. And um, a lot of times you just, uh, once you get them to this point, you really don't want them to leave, you know. But it's always this way. At, at the end of four years, you've got new players coming in, and we've got to start over. So uh, uh, it's been quite an experience, very pleasurable. Samantha, what's your favorite uh, My favorite one is when I get a block, because I don't get a lot of those, <laughs> <laughs> especially when it goes straight down. And you know, sometimes I get blocks that are not like I didn't mean to. <laughs> But when I get a good blog, I, I get really excited. <laughs> How about you, Um, I don't know. It's like either um, like when Sam serves and I get like an overpass, like with no block in front of me. I love like doing that, obviously, like, yeah, just bouncing it. Um, but I like, I obviously like blocking a lot. So I like getting like a solo block, like in the middle or something like that. It's like pretty fun. Yeah, definitely. Like we we were like roommates freshman year, and we've like lived together all four years, kind of thing. So I've really gotten to know her a lot, and she's like one of my best friends on the team for sure. And I obviously would never have met her if I never if I didn't come here. If I had decided to stay in Canada or I went somewhere else. So and all the people I've met on the team like throughout the four years, like they're all great people, and I've really been lucky to end up here. Yeah, I think it's a great experience to get to know people from other countries. Uh, like Alicia from Italy and then Alicia from Canada. I think it's, I don't know, it's just like really, really nice to meet people that are coming from different cult uh, cultures. And you know, we have students from 117 different countries attend USC uh, right now. And we fly the flag for every one of those students' countries. 
uh, in our international center. And it, it's pretty special when people come because uh, you can find people from almost every walk of life attending class. And so it is a, a pretty neat experience. Um, I think we just have to be consistent, and yeah, I think I, I think that's all we need right now. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, we're just gonna keep practicing how we normally do, and yeah, I think just being consistent. Yeah, I think we're gonna just try to keep hitting like our benchmarks throughout the game. Like we always want to be first to eight, and then first to sixteen, and then obviously like first to twenty-five to win. So I think we're just gonna kind of you know keep trying to go for it, I guess. I mean, hopefully. Yeah, we're going to try our best to, goal, to yeah. do that. But I mean, there's a lot of good teams out there, as we said. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to kind of cheap, keep going game by game. So we're going to take on Creighton first tomorrow. I mean, the only thing that I can think of is just, you know, the freshmen, they haven't experienced something like this. So I think, you know, just talk to them a little bit about uh, how this is going to be, how every single team is going to do their best to win the game. You know, like every single team has one goal and it's to win the championship. So I think just talk to them and just, I don't know, just like talk to them not to get too anxious about it and just the way I see it is just, it's just another game. You know, it's like, obviously, yeah, we're in the playoffs, but um, I don't know, we, we shouldn't be doing something that we haven't done before. And have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, they, they're they uh, very special people. They have so much energy. Their personalities are uh, really, really strong. And I think, I don't know, I think they, they've been doing a really good job so far. Yeah, and it's it's really fun to see to see them play. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been really fun playing with these guys, for sure. This is a really special team. Any further questions? All right, thank you.